It's hard to believe that this location is home to the biggest event in the district every year. It takes dozens of volunteers each day over the span of roughly two weeks to make the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship happen. Transforming the Sorting Gap Marina into a location that can facilitate a parade of boats for over a thousand spectators is perhaps the biggest task for the Bass Tournament Committee. It's cold and wet, but it's Friday, the week before the bass tournament, and the big tent must go up. Volunteers are scarce in this type of weather, but according to the tent master Otto, the weather isn't bad enough to postpone the big tent setup. Uh, have you set it up in worse weather than this, or is it? Yes. Yeah? What's the biggest challenge, I guess, to setting up a tent in this type of weather? Rain. Yeah, when, when you uh, set up the tent, you have to set up the outside poles first, and then you get, you get a big uh, water pocket in there and you never lift the boat up. With the help of an m &R fire crew, the tent is erected later that afternoon. The weather starts to warm up in the next few days. The bar tents are set up, computer systems begin to go online, and the lights and sound are beginning to be prepped. Lyle Dolph, a volunteer in his teens, has been treating the week like a job. What's everything you've had to do? Uh, set up the big tent, uh, paint everything you see black around here, um, set up volunteer tents, set up fencing, make sure everything works right. How many people do you figure are volunteering like the week before? I'd say about 70 or 80 people that you really don't see around, but you know that they've done something. After this year's tournament, Fort Francis Bass Tournament Chairman Tom Fry revealed the committee is considering an alternate location next year. There's a lot that goes into setting up the scene of the Bass Tournament, and just as much to take down. A lack of volunteers to tear down over the years, along with the costs associated with operating an independent site, are reasons the Bass Tournament may look to move to the Memorial Sports Center next year, which was reported by Time staff writer Mitch Calvert earlier this month. You might think such a drastic move would create a public outcry, but when the Fort Francis Times polled 88 online readers, only 43% were against such a move. Perhaps this is reflective of the lack of volunteers and community interest that comes into play when transforming the Riverside location. Essentially, any decision made would be one that reflects community interest. Clearly, more are needed to volunteer their time to keep the Bass Tournament the same it has been in years past. Whether people realize it or not, their actions or non-actions dictate the direction of the biggest event in the district. This is Andrew George for FortFrancis.tv.